Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I'm only just the name of the Lord to come in and worship. You be praised. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. We're coming before you again from Sal Rock Apostolic Faith Church. I am Pastor Barbara Abraham. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. God bless you. Amen, amen. And this is how we're going to receive our praise and worship team. Amen, amen. How many know that God is the goodest father we could ever have? Yeah. He's the best father we could ever have. And we just want to declare that on this morning. Oh, I've heard a thousand stories what they think you're like, but I know tender whispers of love in the dead of night and to tell me that you're pleasing that I never
Hallelujah. You're a good, good father. That's who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The greatest father of all. Amen. Is our father which art in heaven. Oh, glory be unto his holy name. Amen. Get your Bible. Excuse me. Get your Bibles, if you will. Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. Amen. Amen. As we go to the Word of God on today. God is great and great to be praised. Amen. For Solid Rock, by way of announcement, there will be no evening service today. This is Father's Day, so go and enjoy. Amen. Your Father's on today. Amen. Those of you that still have your fathers here on planet Earth, amen, and know where your father is and things like that, amen, go ahead and celebrate your Father's Day with your father. For those of you who no longer have your fathers, then there is a father that sets on high, amen, the greatest of all, amen, our Father which art in heaven. Hallelujah. At this time, get your Bibles, if you will, go with us to the book of Genesis, the 22nd chapter. How do you fall in the mighty name of Jesus? We come before you. Just want to say thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your manifold blessings. We ask you to extend your hand toward each and every individual on today, Lord, that's over the airways, oh God, that's in this place where we exist right now. Oh God, use this vessel as only you shall see fit to glorify thy holy, amen, and precious name of Jesus Christ. We ask it now in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to talk about a father one today. Um, the message is partially, amen, I guess you could say partially, amen, toward fathers, but not just toward fathers. Amen. It is more so than everyone's message, people message. Amen. But we do want to talk about some fatherhood on today as well. Amen. Amen. The book of Genesis, beginning at the 15th, well, let me see here. All right. I'm going to start at the 10th verse, yeah. ninth verse. And they came to the place where which God had told him of, this is Abraham, God had told him of, and built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Yeah. Now angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horn. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mouth of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that is, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemy. And in thy seed, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. Amen. I'd like to go back to verse 18 again. And the Bible says, And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. Amen, amen, amen. I'd like to use for a topic on this morning. It's in the obedience. Amen. It's in the obedience. Hallelujah. It's in the obedience. Amen. The day is 
Father's Day. Yes. Amen. It is a wonderful day. Amen. To some and not so wonderful to others. Amen. But really, it is a wonderful day. Yes. All right. And I'm going to try to help you understand that as I continue to go along. Amen. The first human that was created upon the face of the earth in the beginning was a man. A man, male, male gender. It was a male gender, yes. male gender, man. All right, not talking about species because we're all considered to be man, a species. But it was a male that was a man. All right, male species, male gender, a man that God made from the dust of the earth. Yes. The Bible said that God made him from the dust of the earth and God breathed into the man's nostrils and the man became a living soul. Yes. Amen. So he was the first uh, creation of the human race. He, he made first creation of the human race that God placed on planet earth. Yes, yes. And the Bible said that God made this man, and the job that the man had was to take care of the earth. He gave him control over the earth, the things that were on the earth, and the things that were beneath the earth. Yes. God gave the man rule. He gave him dominion. As time went on, God himself, uh, as he looked around, and he declared that it was not good uh, that the man should be alone by himself uh, without his own kind. Yes. Amen. Because uh, if we simply looked at it, he was not alone because there were angels there. Uh, there was God there. Uh, there were animals there. But he was yet alone because uh, there was no one like himself. Yes, yes. And because there was no one like himself, God said this is not a good thing. Now, prior to this, God had said everything that he had made, it was good. Yes, yes. Amen. But there was something going on now that was not good. And it was that the man had no one like himself to be with. Amen. So God, God is the one that said it was not good for him. Amen. So what God did is he put the male, the man, into a deep sleep. And while he was asleep, because God was the first anesthesiologist, amen, God caused Adam to fall into a deep sleep. Amen. God does not need medication. Amen. He does not need to uh, stick something in in your vein, amen, to put you to sleep and into a deep sleep. God put this man into a deep sleep and while he was asleep, God was the first doctor that performed an operation without scissors, hallelujah, without a scalpel or any such tool. God opened the man up. God went inside of the man and took out a rib from the man. Amen. And from the rib, God made a woman. Amen. In other words, amen. Not species here, not, not, not gender, but when he talked about man, woman, a man with a wound. Man with a wound, not gender, but species. A man that now has a wound, a human yeah. that has a wound. And that Adam, the male, did not have a wound. But what Adam, the male, had is he had the woman and everybody else inside of him was the entire world Amen. of the human race. Yeah, yeah. So God did not need to go outside of what he had already created, huh? amen, to continue uh, his creation, uh, amen. So he was able to go to Adam, take a rib out of him, and to make uh, a woman, huh? amen. Now she has a womb, huh? she is like Adam, huh? but yet she is different, huh? amen. She is different in gender, huh? but not in species. 
She's not in kind. Huh? She is different. Huh? Amen. Because she has uh, a wound. Huh? Amen. And Adam, huh? Amen, has uh, the seed. Huh? Yeah. Uh, or seeds. He had seeds uh, within himself, as I said. Uh, Adam and Adam, huh? We all existed, huh? Amen. Before, huh? We were yet seen. Uh, we existed in him, huh? Amen. So because uh, we existed inside of Adam, huh? Amen. As we go on and find out all oh, that went on, huh? That's how we got in the state, huh? That we are currently in today, huh? Amen. Amen. But the Bible, huh? Amen. The Bible. It lets us know how, amen, that time went on with Adam and with Eve. Adam, how, Adam is our father, how, amen. We can go all the way back to Adam because he is our father. He was the first man. Yes. He was the first male, how, yes. male man, how, that God had created. And through him, all of us have come, how, amen. So Adam, how, is our original father. Yeah, huh? yeah. Amen. I'm talking about natural here, not spiritual. Huh? But in the natural, Adam is all of our father. Huh? Amen. And we all were made from one blood. Huh? Yeah. Everybody that thinks and feels as though they are different. Huh? Amen. And they are not like everyone else. Huh? The Bible said that we were made from one blood. Huh? Amen. I know we have different nationalities. Huh? But we were made from one blood. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One blood. Ha. So whether we want to receive it or not, we're all in this thing together. Amen. Yes. Amen. But because things happened and transpired in the Garden of Eden, now, amen, because our father Adam uh, listened to his wife Eve, uh, amen, that uh, had gotten out of the will of God, uh, amen, had eaten of what God told them not to eat of. Uh, she did know she should not, uh, amen, but she was deceived uh, by the adversary, uh, amen, and she gave it to Adam as well, uh, and he chose, he chose. He chose. It was a matter of choice. We have a choice huh? whether we do right huh? or whether we do wrong. We have a choice. Huh? I didn't say it would not be pressure. Huh? I didn't say it would be easy. Huh? But we have a choice. Yes. And he chose. He chose to listen to Eve outside of the will of God. And because the entire human race, amen, was depending on him, and the entire race existed inside of him, wherever he went, we went. And whatever he did, therefore, basically, we did also. Amen. And so when Adam ate of the fruit, not when Eve ate of the fruit, because we would have been okay. Uh, because we were not inside of Eve. Uh, we were inside of Adam. Uh, amen. But he chose. Uh, that's how the devil works. Uh, amen. The devil will try to get you in agreement uh, with that which is wrong. Uh, when he knows that you are the one uh, that is carrying the seed. Uh, and that's spiritual there. Uh, you are carrying the seed. Uh, he will use someone that's not carrying the seed uh, to try to get you out of the will. Uh, so that the seed will not be produced, and if it is produced, it will not come out right. Amen. Amen. I hope that helps somebody. Yes. You gotta catch that in the spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, Shande, yes. Oh, your Baba, she said about You gotta catch that in the spirit, huh? Amen. But we see, huh, that Adam fell, huh? And when Adam fell, we all fell, huh? When Adam sinned, we all went and plummeted, huh? Yeah. In uh, to sin, huh? Amen. That was our first fall, yeah. huh? Amen. But it's time, but God, huh? Amen. While they were yet still, huh? In the garden of Eden, huh? A wonderful place, a peaceful place, a lovely place, huh? A place where everything was provided for them. The work was not hard that God had given unto Adam. He didn't really have to do much at all, huh? Amen. And by the sweat of his brow, huh? Oh, my Lord, because everything 
thing just kind of came. Uh, it just came on up. It just came on up. Uh, yes, we didn't yes. have to do a whole lot. Maybe cut here, cut there. Uh, amen. But to make things come up and make it be prosperous, uh, God was already doing that. Uh, oh, but what they did not understand uh, is to get outside of the will of God. Uh, therefore, to be disobedient uh, to the will of God, uh, it changes uh, the whole atmosphere. Yes. Amen. And the devil don't want us to understand that. He don't want us to think about that. All he wants us to think about is what we do not have at the moment. That's right. That's right. But he don't want you to ever come to the understanding of all you will leave and all you will lose if you disobey the will of God. I come to tell you he lost a whole lot more than he gained from eating from that tree. Amen. Right. Amen. He lost. He lost out on being sinless for number one. Mm -hmm. He lost out on being sinless. Yes. He lost his rule. Yes. Because where he was supposed to be dominant, the one he obeyed became the ruler over the world that God put him over. Yes. Yes. Mm. See, why bow down? to something that has no greater power over you and give them your power. Mm -hmm. Adam gave the devil his power. Yes. Adam gave the devil his authority mm -hmm. over this worldly realm. Mm -hmm. And so we were plummeted into sin. Now the Bible said that the whole world lied in darkness. Mm -hmm. The whole world and the world was just doing what the world could do, and that was sin against the Almighty. Mm. Time went on, and God said, well, let me try to, not try, but let me correct this thing, and let me go back a little bit to the Garden of Eden. God already prophesied that he would send a Messiah. He would send a Savior. Yeah. Amen. And he said that the seed singular, of the woman would bruise the serpent's head and the serpent would bruise his heel. Uh, amen. So therefore the serpent would do some damage to him. Uh, amen. But he would do much more damage to the serpent. Uh, amen. amen. He was going uh, to crush the serpent's head. Uh, therein, uh, crushing the head, uh, taking the authority back uh, from uh, the devil. Ha, hallelujah, ha, amen. And the devil ha, is now at his feet. Yes. Ha, hallelujah. And how much can you possibly do, ha, amen, at the feet? Because it is the feet ha, that will step on your neck. Yes. Ha, hallelujah. Ha. So we praise God ha, for the victory ha, that we have ha, in Christ Jesus. Oh, oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But but God was looking around as he decided uh, that he would choose uh, a man, a man by the name of uh, Abram. Uh, a man, Abram, uh, a man and his family were idol worshippers. Uh, a man because mainly the whole earth were into uh, serving other gods. Ha, not really serving the true and the living God ha, for most of them. Ha. But here we see ha, a man that God chooses himself one man. One, one, one. Somebody can say one. One. Woo. One man. Woo. Now look at somebody and say, you the one. You the one. Oh, you the one. Oh, yeah. You the one. You the one. God chose one man. One, one. Just one. Just one out of all the people. He chose one man out of all the people. He chose one, oh no, one man now, to make a difference with, huh? yes. to make an example with, huh? and not to become his God. Huh? And not one man huh, that was willing to be obedient huh, to the voice of God. Huh? A voice that he did not know. Huh? A voice of whom he did not know. Huh? A voice of one that he had not experienced. Huh? But something on the inside huh, of you and I. Hallelujah. There's something on the inside uh, of every human being that knows its creator. Yes. Hallelujah. Even though you're not familiar with him, ha, even though you're not really acquainted with him, ha, when he calls you, ha, something inside uh, will answer. Yes. Oh, oh. My God, my God, my God. And so God calls this man Abraham. 
Abram. And God says to this man, I want you to walk before me and be perfect. I, I want you to go huh, where I am sending you. Huh, where I am sending you, I will show you. Leave your ten folk. Yes. yes. Well, I don't know you know my ten folk, but there's something inside of me that drives you toward me. Mm. Why? Because you are that part that is missing. Yes. And something is pulling me toward you because I need you and I didn't even know it. I didn't even know that I needed you. I didn't know that you were absent. Yes. I might have felt the void, but I didn't know that the void was you. Yes. But you came and you filled the void. And that's why I knew I needed to follow you. Mm -hmm. So Adam, Abraham, gets up, he leaves his kinfolk, he makes one mistake because he takes one of them with him. Yeah. Locked. He shouldn't have took them because God said, leave your kinfolk. Yeah. But he took Lot, and then a contention rises with Lot's servants and his servants, and they're going back and forth between one another. And Abraham has to say, look, wait a minute, hold up. This place is big enough for the both of us. You choose the part that you go to, and I will go to the other part. Yes. Lot decides that he wants to go toward the place that is headed towards Sodom and Gomorrah. It looked very fruitful, mm. fruitful land, it looked plenteous. And so that's where he wanted to go. Amen. Yes, it was fruitful and yes, it was plenteous. But it also was not a good place to choose. That's right. That's right. Ma, ma, ma. As they say, it's not what it looked like. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's not always what it looked like with the natural eye. And the devil touches us with the natural eye, with the appearance of things. Amen. But behind those things may be lurking something that is very evil. Amen. Something that is very deceptive. Something that will ultimately destroy you. But you are only looking at the appearance on the outside. But you don't know what is on the inside. And the inside is what really matters. Amen. So he went towards Sodom and Gomorrah. And then the Lord speaks again to Abram and says to him uh, all that he had promised him before, that he was going to bless him and his seed was going to be multiplied and it was going to be like the stars in the sky and the seas, the, the sand on the seashore. And if you could not number it, you would not be able to number his seed. Yes. His seed. His seed. Because there were going to be a multitude of people. And here, when we get over to the book of Genesis, in the 22nd chapter, the 15th verse, amen, and we begin to talk about uh, what God was going to do again after God had asked for a sacrifice from Abram. After God asked for a sacrifice from Abram. Or Abraham at this time, God asked for a sacrifice. And the sacrifice was to give his only son by his wife, Sarah, to God. Yes. God said, what I want you to do is I want you to sacrifice, a, a sacrifice Isaac unto me upon the mountain. And he did not waver. He did as God requested. He took his journey, took uh, Isaac along with him. They both built up the, the, the uh, thing for the sacrifice. Uh, amen. And uh, he tied Isaac up on top of the altar. Amen. Now wait a minute because Isaac was not his little teeny child, uh, but he allowed his father to put him up as a sacrifice. Uh, amen. In other words, he was an obedient child. Uh, amen. You understand why you getting tied up Amen. That this man must be getting ready to kill you. Uh, now, once he told me to lay down, uh, I would start asking some questions. Uh, amen. More or less, why do you want me to lay on top of this thing? Uh, and especially when you got the rope together uh, and you try to tie me up. Uh, amen. This day and time, uh, most of us, uh, 
it would have been a struggle, huh? I know you might be my father, huh? But what you not gonna do, huh? Is kill me up here if I can help it, huh? Amen. But I said, huh? Amen. He was submissive, huh? Amen to his father, huh? And he allowed his father, huh? To tie him up, huh? Amen. On that altar, huh? And Abraham, huh? He got the dagger, huh? And he raised it up, huh? And he was about to kill his son, huh? As a sacrifice to God. But, uh, God had never uh, asked for that type of sacrifice, uh, but this time uh, it was just to try, uh, uh, to try Abraham. Uh, and uh, uh, Abraham went forward uh, to give God what he asked. Uh, what uh, will you withhold from God uh, if God asks you for it? Uh, Abraham uh, was willing to give all. Uh, he was willing to give out uh, his only son, uh, the son of the promise uh, that God uh, had told him uh, that in Isaac uh, I was going to bless uh, and now you're asking me uh, to give him up. Uh, uh, now the devil would say uh, God uh, have made your promise uh, and he been making uh, he's taking the son back uh, and therefore uh, he's taking the promise back uh, but Abraham uh, he understood uh, that God was it's already settled. When God said a thing, it shall be. I don't know what's going to do. How it's going to happen. I'm going to kill him. But somehow, and some way, God must going to raise him up. Because I take God at his word. I take him at his word. So I'm going to go for ha, and I'm going to give God ha, what I said I would do ha, that he asked of me. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, what will ha, you have hope from God? Because it's in your obedience ha, that the work will ha, come to fruition. Ha, that the work will ha, come to where God ha, have ordained it to come. Ha, that that baby ha, that you're carrying ha, for the Lord ha, will be birthed out of you ha, the right way. Ha, the promises ha, shall unfold ha, according ha, to your faith ha, and your obedience. Yes. My God, ha, so we see him. Ha, we see him. Ha, they get on the mountaintop. Ha, amen. Ha, and he's going to kill Isaac. Ha, and the angel of the Lord. Ha, speaks out of heaven. Ha. Usually when we hear the angel of the Lord, ha, amen, we say it's Jesus, ha, amen, talking, ha, amen, at that time, ha, it doesn't just say an angel, ha, but the angel of the Lord, ha, Lord, have mercy, ha, it was the angel of the Lord, ha, that had stayed back, ha, when they were going to Sodom and Gomorrah, ha, amen, to destroy, ha, but the angel of the Lord, ha, Stay back ha, and talk to Abram. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, at that time, ha, told him what he was going to do. Ha, and Abram sought the angel of the Lord ha, and said, ha, Be it far from you ha, to destroy the righteous ha, with the wicked. Ha, if only ha, you can find 50, ha, which is fair to city. Ha, the Lord said, I'll do it. Ha, and he got down to 10. Ha, and the Lord said, I'll do it. Ha, and then the Lord Lord, ha, the angel of the Lord left him. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, unfortunately, ha, the city was so wicked ha, that he couldn't even find ten ha, that was righteous in the city. Ha. So God ha, destroyed that city. Ha, but he got a hold of Lot ha, and got a hold of his wife ha, and the children. Ha, they would have been saved ha, had they been obedient ha, to their father. Ha. Listen to what I'm saying. Ha, the father. Ha, he knew about God ha, because Abraham ha, knew about God ha, and Abraham had to tell him ha, that it was God ha, that told me to leave my family ha, and because he had a mind ha, ha, the father with Abraham ha, lets me understand ha, he must have had a mind ha, to also follow Abraham God good, good. hallelujah unfortunately ha, Amen. Solomon Gomorrah was destroyed. Ha. 
amen, with fire and with brimstone, ha, amen, but not in his wife, ha, the angels took them by the hand, ha, and brought them out of the city, ha, told them to run for their lives, ha, and not to look back, ha, but the Bible let us know, ha, here comes disobedience again, ha, because that's why, ha, she looked back, ha, and became a pillow of salt, ha, amen, but not, ha, they didn't even really realize, ha, that she was left behind, ha, I can imagine, ha, cause they kept on running, ha, you gotta keep on running, ha, I say you gotta keep on running, ha, I say you gotta keep running, ha, till you get to your safety zone, ha, when God say run, ha, whoever is with you, ha, they all ought to be running together, ha, but you can't turn back, ha, you gotta keep your eyes, ha, focus, ha, on to it, God, ha, it's trying to take you, ha, run, ha, and be obedient. It's in your obedience. Yes. It's in your obedience. Huh? And so Abraham huh, was going to kill huh, Isaac. Huh, and huh, the angel speaks out huh, and say, Abraham, huh, say your hand. Huh, don't you do nothing to that lad. Huh, amen. And Abraham looked up huh, behind him. Huh, there was a ram huh, in the thicket. Huh, he went and got the ram huh, out of the thicket. Huh, and he offered up the ram huh, in the place of his son. Huh, wait a minute. Why? After God told you not to kill your son, because he understood a sacrifice. I said a sacrifice still belonged to God. He spared my son, but here's his ram. The ram is going to take my son's place. It's gonna be shedded, but it won't be my son. It will be a ram. I come to tell you, because of his obedience, the Bible told him, God spoke unto him and said, In thee shall all the nations of the earth be blessed in thy seed. Singular, ha, thy seed, ha, which was Jesus, ha, shall all the nations ha, of the earth ha, be blessed. Ha, and he said, because ha, of thy obedience, ha, Father, ha, because ha, of thy obedience, ha, he was an obedient father, ha, he was an obedient child ha, unto his heavenly father, ha, and his son, ha, his earthly son, ha, was obedient to him, ha, but because his heavenly father ha, saw that he was obedient ha, unto his voice, ha, he fed his son, because he didn't need his, ha, his son was not sinless, ha, but God was going to send a son uh, into your world uh, to die uh, for the sins of the world. Uh, his name was Jesus. Uh, he was our ransom. Uh, he is our ram in the bush. Uh, he shed his blood uh, on Calvary. Uh, he took our place. Uh, he took the judgment of God uh, against our sins uh, just for you uh, and for me. Uh, it is in your being. It's in your obedience. You want the promises? It's in your obedience. You want the will of God done in your life? It's in your obedience. If Abraham had not been obedient to God, ah, it seems as though ah, the promises might have went switched somewhere else. I didn't write that in the book here, but the Bible said, ha. And in thy seed, ha, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, ha, because thou hast obeyed my voice, ha. In other words, ha, because, ha, because of that, ha, this is why this is going to happen, ha, because you did what I asked you for, ha, and I know, ha, that you won't withhold anything from me, ha, you'll give your all, ha, I say you got to sell out, ha, you got to give all your all, ha, stop trying to hold on to things, ha, stop trying to hold on to people, ha, and give God your all, ha, and be obedient, ha, the devil is trying to keep you, ha, from the blessings of the Lord, ha, and from you being the blessing, ha, that God chose you to be, ha, just one person, ha, can bless a million people, ha, can bless a multitude of people, ha, they can hear what God's done for you, ha, and many can be saved, ha, many yokes can be broken, ha, many drug addictions can be broken, ha, many drug addicts will come off the corners, ha, come out of their drug houses, ha, many drug dealers, ha, will stop selling their drugs, ha, because they have, ha, a 
Glory. Oh, Shama. Glory. A promiscuous young lady, promiscuous young man that will choose the Lord huh, and allow God to save you huh, and go back to be a living testimony huh, to our young girls huh, and to our young boys. Huh, amen. They're still sleeping around. Huh, amen. Don't know what to do with their bodies. Huh, and that's the only time they really feel loved. Huh, even though it's not true love. Huh, they make them feel like they love. Huh, just for those moments. Huh, and they're looking for love. Huh, in all the wrong places. Huh, but you can tell them huh, that a Savior, huh, he found you. Huh, and now you know somebody huh, that can love you huh, like nobody else can. Huh, that will cherish you. Huh, that will treat you right. Huh, and then let you know huh, that you are valuable. Huh, God will use your young man. Huh, God will use your young woman huh, to help the other young people huh, so they don't have to worry about huh, getting STDs. Huh, they don't have to worry about huh, getting pregnant. Huh, they don't have to worry about huh, going to places huh, and getting abortions. Huh, they won't have to go through it. Huh, their mind don't have to be messed up. Huh, their emotions don't have to be messed up. Huh, but they gave themselves huh, over unto the Lord. Huh, hallelujah. Because huh, Christ has huh, a better life for them. Huh, but it is huh, in your obedience. Huh, will you obey the Lord? Huh, will you let him use your vessel? Huh, will you give yourself huh, as a living sacrifice? Huh, holy and acceptable huh, unto the Lord. Huh, you will be the sacrifice huh, this day and time. Huh, while you live so that somebody else huh, can be delivered. Huh? Somebody else huh, can be healed. Huh? Somebody else huh, can be saved. Huh? It's in your obedience. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, it means a whole lot. Huh? One person's obedience means a whole lot. Huh? And the devil understands that. Huh? That's why he tries to get us to be oh, disobedient. Huh? Because one person's disobedient also means a whole lot. Yes, yes. When we're disobedient, we give up territory, not even knowing it. Now, what do you mean, Pastor? You give up territory. Because God has placed you over territory, whether you know it or not. He has you on the earth and placed you over territory. You're over places, amen, where the devil's trying to have his way. But because your prayers are going up, the Lord is fighting on the behalf of that territory. Sometimes it's your children. Sometimes it's your family. Sometimes it's your friends. Amen. Sometimes it's people far off that you don't know. But somebody asks you to pray for them. You're over that territory to keep things off of from happening. You're over that territory. So the devil tries to get you to be disobedient. Huh? So he can take over that territory. Huh? But you better tell the devil you can't have my territory. Huh? I'm going to be obedient unto God. Huh? Because every time I disobey, huh? you're taking When he disobeyed. We got to realize every time you disobey, you're giving up something. Yes. And it's not just about you. It's not just about you. Yes. It's not just about you. God said, I look for a man to stand in the gap yes. so that I wouldn't destroy. But I didn't find none. Yes. And so I went on and I destroyed. I looked for somebody, in other words, huh, to say, Lord, have mercy on them. Because, huh? see, judgment was coming. Huh? And I got to do huh, what I have to do. I have to judge sin. Huh? Yeah. But if I can get somebody to stand in the way of that sometime, huh, I'll hold back. Huh? You see, it's just like Israel. Huh? And now when God was sending judgment, huh? God has sent the plague. Huh? Yeah. And Moses, huh? he told Aaron, huh? he said, Aaron, hurry up. Huh? He said, get the incense. Huh? He said, run, run, run. Because huh? the plague was spreading. Huh? And many other people were dying because they had sinned against God. It was moving quick and so Aaron had to move quick and sometimes you got to move quick. You got to pray in a hurry. You got to get the prayers up before God and the Bible let us know our prayers are an instant 
not a fairy tale. Yes, hallelujah. This is real. This is real. This is real, real. It's happening right now in front of our eyes, uh, yes. in front of our face. Uh, we got to get it done. Uh, we got to send the prayers up. Uh, we got to go on the highways. Uh, we got to go on the byways uh, yes. and save as many uh, as we possibly can. Uh, pull us uh, out of the fire. We got to get it done. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Because of your obedience, because of your obedience, God will turn some things around. God will make the devil leave out of the atmosphere of some areas because of your obedience, because of my obedience. Yes. Whether we realize it or not, there are some things that God has placed in our hands and put under us. Yes. And some of us haven't been doing a good enough job, and that's why the devil has been taken over some areas. That's why. Oh, yes. It ain't all just because God is just allowing everything. Sometimes we just have not been the priest that we're supposed to have been. And we didn't even know. Oh, that was my time to it. Oh, I should have been praying. Oh, I should have laid hands. Oh, I should have fasted. Oh, see, we got to do everything we can possibly do. Everything we can possibly do. And after we've done all that we can possibly do, then if something happens with the tarry toy, it's not our fault. It's not our fault. It's just like you can't make your children be saved. But if you do everything you're supposed to do, and you kept the devil back off of them, like God wanted you to, if they stray from the Lord, that's not your fault. That's what they chose to do. But you keep on praying and praying and praying and prayerfully, you will pray them back into where they belong. Yes. See, the devil wants you to stop praying. The devil wants you to stop praying. But there's too many examples of children that have gone astray, but the parents kept on praying. I mean, for years, the parents kept on praying, but the devil was talking. Just don't pray to them because they ain't coming back. They, they ain't going up get right. You know why? Because he wanted to kill them in their sins so they could die and go to hell. But somebody was standing in the way and blocking judgment. Yes. And every time God saw the prayer, God would say, okay. All right, I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Now, God is a timekeeper. Yes. He's the one that can say time is up or keep on giving time. So our job is just to pray and ask for the time. Have mercy. I know what you should do and I know what you could do and I know what, you know, but I'm asking. Yes. Don't stop asking. Keep asking. And many are saved today because somebody mm -hmm. kept asking yes. and they were being obedient to the voice of God. Yes. It's in your obedience. I'm going to stop right there. I can go on. But it is in your obedience. Thank God that Jesus was obedient to the Father. Because yes. if he was not obedient, he would not have ever gone to that cross yes. to die on God God was hill. But he was an obedient son. Yes. And now God is looking around and saying, who will obey me? Yes. Will it be you? It's going to be me. Will it be you? Because we all get to make our own choice. Yes. That's right. But I want you to understand this and know this. If you choose not to obey, then the enemy will come in and take away much territory. Amen. Much territory. Amen. That would not have been lost if you had been obedient. Yes. And yes, God can send somebody else. But everything is not always that way. Right. We have to be obedient. We have to be obedient and be good stewards over everything that God has placed under us. Amen. It's in your obedience. Hallelujah. 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 It's in your obedience right now that you're unsaved. Because Jesus is calling you to the cross. He's calling you to the cross that he might save you. But he is not going to force it onto you. He wants you to reign. We're supposed to reign as kings and queens and things like that. In the kingdom of God, we're supposed to be reigning. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? You're more powerful than you think you are when you get Christ on the inside. You have God himself, and he is the ultimate authority. In heaven and on this earth and under the earth, there is no greater than he. That's who's in you when you get God. Hallelujah. 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 And that's what puts you over the realm 
of the devil. Put you over it. It's not over you. You go over it. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church.
my salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, happy Father's Day to all fathers. Amen. That's out there. Amen. Fathers, 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 fathers. fathers. Please realize it is in your obedience. God will do so much in you and through you if you just be obedient. He will bless your family tremendously if you just be obedient. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Amen. All the things that the Lord has prepared for his people. If you be obedient, now, obedience is going to go a long way. And it will not just touch yours, but it will touch others. Now, even after you have gone off of the face of this earth, because you were obedient, now, others will be blessed. Now, they will be blessed. They shall be blessed. In his mighty name, yes, it will be so. We praise God for each and every one of you, amen, that have stood up, amen, and have taken that authority that God has given you to be that father that he has chosen you to be, amen, for your children in your home, for your wife, amen, that man that stood up, that did not go anywhere, amen, that was determined to raise those children no matter how hard it may have seemed, no matter how much the enemy have talked to you, amen, and those of you that may have had to leave outside of the home, but you stay the father to your children, amen, God bless you, amen, that you did not leave those children all by themselves, amen, but you were still yet there, amen, blessings unto you, those of you that are fathers by name, but you're not doing what you know you should, amen, let this be the day that the change take place, amen, and let this be a turnaround, amen, because those children still need you. You, even if they are grown. I apologize. They don't need you like they did when they were little, but they do still need you. Try to formulate that relationship with your children, amen, before you leave off the face of this earth because if you leave off the face of this earth and they never had that relationship with you, you're going to leave a hole in their heart, amen. You're going to leave one anyhow, but it's going to be a different type of hole that you don't want to leave there, amen. So please be a blessing in many of ways that God has chosen you to be. You are better than what the devil is telling you right now. Yeah. You can get up. Amen. You may have been down for a long time, but you can get up. Just hold the head, hold on, and grasp the promises of God that is for your life. I'm telling you, He has promised many things that you do not know of yeah. as yet. That's but right. if you give yourself over to Him, God will show you just what He means. We love you all. God bless you all. May God keep you all. Amen. But remember, most of all, God loves you best. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Yeah.